Hold him, Flagman, hold him. Green flag, let's go, let's roll. WUB Network America Sports Leader is proud to present the Progressive Cup Series. We are back in action for the fourth race of the season. We are live from Tiburon Raceway for the Tostitos Tiburon 500, one of the big races of the season. I'm Eddie Kalegi. First to Ed and Tony for the Nabisco Pre-Race Show. Hi, from the garage area, I'm Ed Kalegi, joined by Tony Stewart, and this is the Nabisco Pre-Race Show, one of the big events of the season, the Tostitos Tiburon 500. It is just moments away. Tony, what makes this track so unique? At just .37 miles, this is the smallest circuit on the track, but the high banks make it resemble Daytona, and several racing grooves are comparable to Auto Club. There's really no place like it, and you can run this track so many different ways. This is also the first night race of the season. Will that have any effect on the racing? A little, not that much. The track won't be as hot and slick as practice, so cars might be a little tight early, but the big thing with night racing, it just move, makes for an even greater spectacle. All right, you are, Tony. Now it's time for our subway selections. Who's your pick? Well, Denny Hamlin is great here. I think the 11 is going to go back to back. Kevin Harvick won this race last season. Another Tiburon win is on the way for him. Now off to pit road and trip. Are you excited for tonight? Guys, you know I'm excited. Second straight short track, Martinsville was wild, so let's get into this uh, with this little grid walk. First guy I want to talk to over here right now is Eric Jones in the 20. Eric, you're on the pole. Isn't this exciting? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think we had that much speed this weekend. Uh, we did well in both the Tiburon races last year, and now I'm just very excited to be starting on the pole. Hopefully we can keep this speed up in the race. Well, best of luck to you, Eric, as we move down. We got Kevin Harvick. And Keelan Harvick down here. Kevin, how have you been spending your time down in Orlando? Well, you know, I took the family down to uh, Disney World. We were at Magic Kingdom. Do uh, you enjoy that, Keelan? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So, Keelan, I got to ask you, you think your daddy can win today? He better. Whoa, Keelan, he better? Uh, what's going to happen if he doesn't? Mommy's going to be mad. Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, boy. Some family drama right here, but Kevin Harvick has won here nine times before. He should be good. He's not my pick, though. My pick is down here. That's your number 12 of Ryan Blaney. Blaney was bad fast at Martinsville. Started on the pole, had the unfortunate car issues, got tangled up with Kyle Larson. He rolls off P7 today. I think he's going to be able to get it done. Let's send it up to Eddie Kalegi in the booth as we get started here in the Jewel of the South. Thank you, Trip. We are live from Tiburon Raceway in Orlando, Florida, the bullring, the crown jewel of the South. It's the Tostitos Tiburon 500. 40 drivers ready to battle. Let's see our drivers to watch for. It's the Eric and Eric show on the front row. Jones and Alamarola. Kevin Harvick starts up there. He has been strong. Denny Hamlin is also very solid at this track. Now the command. Of course, a race sponsored by Food in a Party City. You gotta have Guy Fieri delivering the command. Cars roll off. Let's take a look at your starting grid. In row number one, as we mentioned, the Eric and Eric Show, Eric Jones and Eric Alamarola. Row number two, you have Kevin Harvick and Martin Truex Jr. Following them, in row number three, you've got Kyle Busch, good short track driver, not much success here, and Chase Elliott. Row four, the man who was really fast at Martinsville, Ryan Blaney, and the eventual winner of that race, Denny Hamlin. 
Row number five, you got Kyle Larson who finished second here in both races last season. And Brad Kislowski. Row number six, you got Kurt Busch and Joey Logano. Logano only got into the final round of qualifying by one thousandth of a second over that 48 of Jimmy Johnson to his outside Daniel Suarez, who's had a nice start to the season. Row number eight, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Ganassi's Justin Allgaier. Yeah, row nine, uh, Paul Menard, KJ Johnson. Menard's had a couple wrecks this season. KJ Johnson's been solid. Row number 10, you got Alex Bowman in the 88. Matt Benedetto, don't count him out. He's good at short tracks. Row number 11, you've got Clint Boyer and William Byron in the 24 car. Then row number 12, you've got Jamie McMurray and AJ Allmendinger. Row number 13, Matt Kenseth in the 6, and to his outside, Austin Dillon in the 3. Row number 14, Chris Busher in the 37, and Jamie Rockwell, who's had a very slow start to the season. Row number 15, Casey Kane and Ryan Newman, both former winners here. And then row number 16, Michael McDowell and Landon Castle. As you head towards the back in row 17, Alexander Estrada, Bubba Wallace, who's been really slow, 37th in final practice. Row 18, David Reagan and Brett Moffat. Moffat actually had a decent run last time out at Martinsville. Row number 19, Cole Witt in the 23. And Corey LeJoy making his first start for Beard Motorsports. And rounding out the field, Jerry Mystery, owner of that team, and Ty Dillon. Your two DNQs for tonight's race, you've got Garrett Smithley and Timmy Hill. Race facts 25 laps, halfway is end of lap 12. Pit window 15 to 18 laps, this track is small. Watch for three and four wide racing. Drivers will take advantage of the banking. Late breaking stories from Pit Road, here's Debbie. After the heartbreak of Martinsville, Kyle Busch starts fifth. Look for him to get to the front early. Ed? Eric Jones starts in the pole for the first time since last season's Daytona 500. Crew Chief Chris Gale's words, just focus on the open track in front of you, not the 39 cars behind. Thanks a lot, guys. Trip, are you ready? Of course, first night race of the season. Hold them, Flagland. Hold them, Green Flag. Let's go. Let's roll. A great start from Alan Marola on the outside. Yeah, we knew he was going to use the banking. And Jones, I guess Chris Gale's words didn't work for him. Jones falls all the way back to third. Now another lead change. Harvick to the inside of Alan Marola. Side by side through turns one, two, three wide for third. Yeah, we know how crazy this racing can get here. Harvick trying to clear Alan Marola. Bush clears Eric Jones for third. A little bit of contact back there. Yeah, it was a little wild. Already tons of lap traffic as Harvick gapping Eric Alan Marola. Looks like Brad Keselowski is having an issue to pit road to go. Brad Keselowski has struggled all race and now pits with a loose right rear wheel. A tough break for Team Penske. Oh, that stinks. Penske, we thought they were going to do good. They've had a slow start to the season. Meanwhile, Kyle Busch, four wide around Eric Alamarola for P2, but it's a long way behind Kevin Harvick as Harvick continues to make his way. Clint Boyer, Chase Elliott both already a lap down. Kyle Busch trying to catch up, but it is all Harvick. Then Busch in second. We'll be back in a moment on WUB Network. What do you think you're doing? Hi, Ryan. Blame you. What are you doing? Putting some batteries in my remote. With these? They're not even a brand. Use some Duracells. Trust in power. Double the power, double the reliability, double the durability. All right. How'd you get my house, though? Garage door opener. Need some Duracells, too. I got some in my car, though. Duracell. Trust is power. Back racing here at Tiburon. It is a good battle up front. Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch is second. And third place, Eric Alamola trying to hang on. You see Truex now under Larson for fourth place. Yeah, 78 fell back early, but he's starting to make some ground up. Kyle Busch is catching Kevin Harvick right now as they are coming to one lap before the halfway bonus. Harvick with the lead. Kyle Busch is going to make his move. Oh, well, we have our first really thrilling finish to a halfway bonus. Eric Jones sets a pick on Harvick, and Kyle Busch squeezes through. He uses his Gibbs teammates to claim the halfway bonus here at Tiburon. What a drive there by Kyle Busch, slowly catching Harvick here. And then watch how he uses his teammates. Hamlin kind of boxes Harvick in through there, and then Jones traps Harvick. That is good teammate collusion. There's your top five at halfway. To pit road we go. Halfway bonus winner Kyle Busch has no complaints about his number 18 Skittles Toyota. Just regular service for Bush, and he's away. Ed? Eric Almirola has shown glimpses of speed, but has been tied in the center of the corners, not allowing him to use the banking. Four tires, gas, and a wedge adjustment. Now let's take a look at our fan predictions. What do you like, guys? See, some people picked Kevin Harvick. 
Uh, you know how good he is here. Denny Hamlin as well. Both have been strong. Truex could be a factor, as could Kyle Busch. Let's try and dial up our halfway Venice winner, Kyle Busch. Kyle, it's Trip McGinnis in WB Network booth. You got a copy? Yes, sir. How's it going? Going good for me. Going great for you. How is this track at night different than during the day? Uh, it's definitely different than what it was yesterday, so I think maybe that kind of threw a few guys for a loop. Uh, our car was pretty well balanced yesterday. feels pretty good today, so... Overall, the interstate battery Camry uh, feels good, so, you know, I think we had this, kind of this conversation last week, but it'd be nice to uh, keep the view the way it is and race this thing out and see what happens at the end. All right, thank you, Kyle. Best of luck in the rest of the race. Well, now we're going to restart with 10 laps to go. Kyle Busch, once again, up front, took the lead there, and is looking very strong as this race has progressed. Kevin Harvick wanting to get that lead back after dominating early. Eric Jones, their pulse sitter, has fallen back. Radio communications issues. Denny Hamlin is your Bass Pro Shop's lucky fish, one of only seven cars on the lead lap. William Byron penalized for his crew throwing equipment. Green flag back in the air. Oh, nice restart. Ooh, contact between Truex and Bush. A lot of good racing. Oh, contact around of Stenhouse. The big one coming in the grass. Lots of cars. The 9, the 22, and the caution comes out. Wow, a big wreck right there. A lot of good cars. Boyer and Almendinger both with hard hits. Casey Kane as well, another wreck for him. Logano and Stenhouse up in the wall. Look at Chase Elliott. He's got debris stuck in the window. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to let him back on the track with that. Stenhouse got turned by his teammate Kenseth and then just a big stack up. Yeah, he overcorrects watch and goes right up into Logano. Kind of looked like the wreck we had last year in the playoffs, except nobody went upside down. Elliott, I don't think, really hit that much, but... Big wreck, all guy, and watch Boyer and Dinger. Oof, that's a big hit. A lot of cars, one lap down, destroyed, and that we're ready to restart with six to go. Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick remain up front. Justin Allgaier is now two laps down. Chase Elliott is three. Yeah, you still see the debris in this car. Casey Kane having all kinds of problems. Jimmy Johnson, your Bass Pro Shop's lucky fish, only eight on the lead lap. We're back, green flag racing. These restarts are going to keep getting better and better. First restart after a wreck. Three wide for third between Truex, Larson, and Alamarola. Truex slides up. Larson gets third as Kyle Busch begins to pull away. Look at Larson working the outside, and you see the lap traffic. A lot of really slow cars. Corey LaJoy is several laps down. Casey Kane as well as Kyle Busch leads Kyle Larson with four to go. Harvick goes high. Oh, what a move by Truex. Martin Truex Jr. slipped under the lapped car and got Alamarola and Harvick. I think he was just trying to get the 10. Yeah, I don't think he expected to get two positions there. Whoa, Alamarola, he saved it! Wow, what a save by Eric Alamarola! He's a wheel man, that's exactly why I hired him last season. Hamlin just got a little aggressive, a little bit of a stack up with Jerry Mystery. Anyway, we only have a lap and a half remaining, and it's a Kyle Busch big advantage here, as he is pulling away one lap to go here at Tiburon. This will be six straight short track victories for Joe Gibbs Racing. Kyle Busch in the win column. He's going to win the Tostitos Tiburon 500. What a drive by Kyle Busch today. Dominated from lap 12. Busch celebrates with a signature Busch burnout. Kyle Larson finishes second for the third straight time here. Martin Truex Jr. third. Harvick fell back to fourth. Alamarola fifth. Then Hamlin, Jones, and Johnson, the only others in the lead lap. Matt Kent of the season best ninth. Kurt Busch tenth. Yeah, disappointing day here for Penske. Yeah, you see Ryan Blaney, the highest in 11th, Bernard 12th, Kozlowski 14th, battled back from that uh, loose wheel to only finish two laps down. Michael McDowell, nice day. As you look towards the back, Jamie Rockwell, Austin Dillon, KJ Johnson, Allgaier 25th, Elliott 29th, both had top 15 cars prior to that wreck. Yeah, stinks for them. Jerry Mystery 32nd, Kane 34th, Corey LaJoy really was down two cylinders, they said, all race. That's why he was seven laps down. Stenhouse, Logano, Boyer, and others out. David Reagan had a mechanical failure early. Here's your point standings after four races. You see, right on that cutoff, it's getting interesting. Ron Blaney, just one point above. Clint Boyer, Ron Newman, Matt Kenseth, less than three points above. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson's 21st, by the way. And look how big Kevin Harvick's gap is. Well, what else you guys got to say? Just about wrapping up tonight's broadcast here from Tiburon. It was a fun race. I mean, first half was clean. Not really what we expected last season. There were so many wrecks. I think there were five cautions in the early season race uh, in the 2017-18 season. But it was a fun race. Yeah, and of course, we saw the big one with 10 to go. Took out a lot of competitors, but Kyle Busch drove really well. 
really started studying Harvick and Almirola's lines early and then ended up passing them and dominating. Well, Kyle Busch could have more success next time. The Auto Club 400 next race, there will be a Flex Seal Series race before it. Kyle Busch celebrates down in victory lane. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter, at Eddie Kalegi, at Drew McGinnis. And that's about it. We hope you enjoyed. I'm Eddie Kalegi. We'll see you next time here on WUB Network, America's Sports Leader.